Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. Today we have with us the iconic and the leading influencer, traveler, a lifestyle yachting guy called The Yacht Guy. He's Alex Jimenez. He's going to be with us with over 1 million followers on social media to tell us everything about the yachting industry and some of the most exciting things about being one of the leading icons on social media when it comes to this industry. Amazing story on how you started The Yacht Guy, which it was like a board that you were putting there as motivation to get yourself eventually in those yachts and keep going because it's such an interesting story. Exactly, it was just motivation. You know, like I said before then, I'd never been on a yacht. I didn't know anybody who owned a yacht. Um, and I was just using it as a motivational board for myself. Before that, I, was, I had tons of magazines, Boat International, um, you name every magazine with yachts from 1998. I had a stack of them in my house, right? And every day I would look at these magazines. But then uh, Instagram came along and I was with my brother at an event and he goes, hey, you should start putting all these photos you got saved on your phone, put them on Instagram and this way you can use that, you know, and save the storage on your phone. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I did that, you know, and then it started to grow. And I said, man, I got to think of a, of a clever name so people could recognize me, you know, because everybody had cool names and here I was, Ali Al. So I was like, I don't know. So I, I, it was raining that day. I'll never forget. <laughs> I was trying to think of a name. And I said, you know, the yacht guy. I said, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that name. But until I come up with something really cool, I'll, I'll just use the yacht guy. The yacht guy is such an iconic brand now because anybody that is looking for inspirational or for information or anything in regards to yachting, they go to your page because you've been accumulating over these four years such an incredible following you have over 1 million followers over social media and you use instagram as your main platform correct it is my main platform and it's been actually 10 years 10 years amazing i love it tell me a little bit about you know how you transformed all that that you were putting on social media and inspiring others to then eventually be the guy that it's on every amazing yacht that is helping others to promote their yachts how do you make that transition? Um, I think it's been, a, 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 it's, the goal was never to be on all these yachts and to become an influencer. That was, that was just something that came of, of a passion that I had. Right? I loved yachts. Um, I was uh, I'm not, there was a point in my life that I was doing really bad. And I said to myself, one day, I'm not going to be doing really bad. I'm going to be doing really great. Right. So you have to find a point of reference. Where do you want to be? Right. And, and after reading some self-help books and stuff like that, they tell you, you want to dream really big, right? Don't be, don't dream of being a, a, a yacht um, mm -hmm. crew member. Dream of being the yacht owner, right? And then what does it take to be the yacht owner? You have to dream about the money that it takes to own one of those, right? So there was no influencer intention. It was just me being me, talking to uh, brokers, talking to designers, talking to a bunch of people in this industry. And when I started, nobody else was doing this. So um, I just was lucky enough to start growing connections, meeting people. Um, and, and they say kindness is greatness, man. You know, you treat people really well and you meet a lot of people that are going to treat you well and not so well. But you take it as a grain of salt and, and, and eventually you'll get to where you want to go. And so at the end of the day, you know, create a business that fuels your passion. And you ended up building the Yacht Guy as your business. So... Congratulations on that. And I'm sure that it's a much. long, long, long way to go. But for now, obviously, you are inspir inspiring others. And there is something that I would like to ask you because, you know, I see a lot of people that they want to be an influencer. They're trying and they're doing, you know, all these postings. But what will you give them as an advice? Becoming an influencer is a full-time job. It's, I mean, you can do it part-time, right? If you have a business, mm -hmm. um, it's easier if you have a successful business, right, already. And then you're becoming an influencer on the side to help influence your already built business. Makes it a little easier. Versus if you are um, working a nine to five, struggling, and then going to transition to become an influencer, there's some time that goes into it because it takes up so much of your time, right? So you will be full-time working, right? On your breaks, you will be on in social media and then back to your full-time job. And then when you get home, 
back to your social media and it will absorb all your time. The trick is mm -hmm. not to get caught in this, the flicking through everybody yeah, else's exactly. stuff. Exactly. You know, and it's very easy to do. You get distracted, right? You will spend <laughs> hours just looking at other people's stuff when you should be focusing on what you need to be doing. How important is the collaborations for you? Um, I think the collaborations are great. I mean, engagement. So you get a lot of people that are like, oh, well, you know, your, 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 your uh, insights aren't as great as they should be, right? I know other guys who've got more insight. I could have a bunch of nine-year-olds liking my stuff too, right? If I did mm -hmm. TikTok dances. And not to say that anything's wrong with that. You know, God bless you guys. You ever doing? You're doing Alex, great. I want to see you dancing. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Dancing well, listen, in I, I, I've, I've done it. Believe me. <laughs> Taylor Chen, has, he's gotten me to dance a few times. I have to put the brakes on him. <laughs> but, um, but my point is, what is your audience and what demographic do you want to attract, right? Do you want to attract 100 million uh, teenagers? Great. That's good for you. For me, I would, I, I'm always looking to attract people who are interested in yachting, who like boating, who enjoy the water. You know, so that's been a slow growth for me, and I'm okay with that. I'm all so, so in regards of the yachting industry, right, we've seen a huge demand after the pandemic. Do people trying to stay away from crowded places and going into yachts? How do you see the future of the yachting industry for the upcoming years? Oh, my God. Let me tell you, man. The yachting industry has seen in the, since the pandemic more sales than than ever before right and mm -hmm. um i think the pandemic had made people realize um ha owning a boat is a great way to escape and get away from everybody right it's funny because i have some clients that are very successful and one of the experiences that they always do in the summer i ask them like what class do you have for the summer it's like oh i'm chartering a yacht like oh yacht how is it no no a villa no nothing's like no, yachts are the best. And I thought, oh, pandemic or spaces, but you know the answer? <laughs> it was very funny. It's like, you know, besides being secure and everything, I love being on a yacht because my family cannot escape. That's where we create the best quality time with the family. <laughs> There's nowhere for them to go. Yeah. But no, that's awesome. And of course, you've been in some of the most incredible yachts. What's a yacht that you will say, oh my God, do you have a favorite or not? Uh, I do have a favorite of all time. Um, it's my dream yacht. And it's been my dream yacht from, from the time that it was, it was built. Um, and, uh, and I just, for the first time, ha got to see photos. Boat International just did a, an online article, and it's Eclipse. Yeah. And the interior of it is really nice. I mean, but I don't know why. I've, I've had dreams of that boat. I've had dreams of owning it. I've had dreams of... Uh, so that boat, for some reason, it does something to me, man. It, it, whenever I see it, I get inspired, and I'm like, that's that's it right there. That's where I need to be, you know? Not as a guest, as an owner. So for some people, I mean, owning a, 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 a Suzuki GTR or, 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 I don't know, a, a, a Nissan GTR or, or a house or a mansion, that's your goal, and that's great. For me, Eclipse has been the, the – if I can get that to that point, then I've done really well, you know? Well, the yacht guy is on its way to make it happen. Come on, you said it right there. It's all about setting up the vision and working every day consistently. Absolutely. So I'm sure you'll make that happen. Thank you. Now, Thank you've been in all these amazing yachts and surrounded by luxury, but, you know, luxury comes in all shapes and forms. And I always ask this question, what is luxury to you? Luxury is, is peace and quiet, right? I spend my days when I'm not doing social media, I garden, right? Believe it or not. I, uh, I go bird watching. I walk in the woods by myself. <laughs> that oh, my God. I just complete quiet, no noise, no social media, just chill. Um, I'll go to the beach, sit on the, on the beach, and just listen to the ocean. And, um, and, and that's my definition of luxury. I love I mean, it. Yeah. All that other stuff. Peace and bought. quietness. Yeah. I, it's, so I love that. Said, it's amazing. No, and, and I agree with you. I was actually reading a book. It's called Blue Mind by Wallace. And thinking about the benefits of being surrounded by water, the sound of water. So when you talk about a yacht, I mean, some people get sick in the water, whatever. But, you know, just waking up in the morning and being able to see the beautiful water, hearing the water. Like, I don't think of any other way of putting your mindset in the right place. So 
I mean, you're a lucky guy. You build yourself this life and you're inspiring others to get towards that. But you said that you also found some inspiration from some books that you read, some mentors. Do you have any recommendations of any person or book that people should read or follow? I've read, I've, I've read so many quotes. And as for a book, the book that actually changed my life, right? And for years, I thought to myself, I'll never be successful because I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know real estate, right? So I'm, I can't be in real estate. I'm not a plumber. I can't be a plumber. I, and anything I want to do, I've got to go spend years and years and years of schooling for. So um, I had thought to myself, I'm done. That's it. I'm going to have to just get a nine to five. And I don't, I don't know how I'm going to ever get anything, right? But then I read this book. And I read this book. Like I said, when I was on my lowest point in my life, and it's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I mean, everybody, I think everybody oh, yeah. knows mm -hmm. yeah. this book. And in this book, he says, you don't need to know everything. You just need to hire the guys that know what you want to know and put them to do the job. And mm -hmm. that just blew my mind and it just opened up the world for me, right? So it said, find a niche, make money, Find something you want to do and then hire a guy who knows how to do it. And there you go. I love it. it I it, love it. It just, that guy just blew my mind. And then from that point on, I felt like the world was, it was, I could, I could do anything. I could do mm -hmm. anything. I just needed to earn the amount of capital to start my own business with stuff that I do know how to do and then branch off hiring people who are professionals at other things that I want to be involved in. Mm -hmm. That's great. I love it. No, it's a great book and definitely amazing insight. Absolutely. So from all these years of experience that you've been going through, and by the way, what you just shared is amazing. But for those that are currently struggling or, you know, it's, it's a difficult time for some people, you know, it's, uh, you know, something that is not the norm. So what will be that piece of advice or that, inspirational phrase that you could share with the audience today? Um, and, and it's very, very easy to say, and it's really cliche, but it is the honest, honest truth. And for anybody who's watching this, and if you're down on your luck and things are going bad and, 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 and you feel like there's no out, don't, the, my, my quote to you is just don't give up. I'm telling you, have faith in yourself, right? See in your mind where you want to be. And I know this sounds corny. I'm telling you, I've been there. It works, right? When I was sleeping in my uh, 19, I don't even want to remember what it was, like 1980-something Isuzu Rodeo, right? I was sleeping in the back of that. I would sleep every day and tell myself, one day I'm going to be in Monaco. One day I'm going to be standing on the bow of a yacht and see beautiful crystal clear water. I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know anybody with a boat. I don't know anybody who owns a yacht. But one day, I'm going to be there. And I had that faith in myself, and I knew one day I was going to do it. And every day, for years, it doesn't happen overnight. For years, I said that. And then it happened. It just happened. It did. It felt like it was overnight. And everybody, you get a lot of guys that go like, where the hell did this guy came at, come out of? He just came out of nowhere. I've been dreaming and manifesting this way before Instagram was even around. So Manifestation. So important. Man and believe it, you will be there. You will get there. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for everything that you've shared. I don't know if we didn't touch base on anything. So if there's something that we're missing, please. I know you are on the road, so I appreciate your time no and problem. all the amazing insights. So is there anything else that you would like to share before we wrap this up? No, I mean, hey, keep watching. Thanks you everybody for following. Check out the YouTube channel. I got some cool stuff on there. If you guys wanna go on some tours on some yachts, uh, we got a couple of cool tours coming up in the future with me and Taylor Chen and uh, a few other people. So thanks again. Amazing. Yeah. You are the man, the yacht guy, Alex Jimenez. Thank you again. Please, everybody, follow him. He's a machine when it comes to inspiration and anything related to yachts. So if you want to wake up in the morning and feel inspired, please follow the guy because He's incredible. So thanks again for your time. And I look forward to seeing you in Ayad, whether in Europe this summer or somewhere here. It's going to happen. I'm definitely going to see you this summer in Europe. So we'll, we'll do something together for sure. I love that. All right, Alex. Take, Take care, care my friend.
Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.